This guide shows you how to make a simple quiz answer sheet in Word. So first of all, we need to open Word. So I'm just going to click the start button and then find Word in here. There we go, there it is, and I just open Word. When Word is open, we need to double click blank document. And then ideally we want to give the uh, uh, the sheet a heading. So uh, I just double click just at the, as close to the top of the, uh, the sheet as I can and the header appears. And uh, let's just call it, um, I don't know, Big Quiz Night. Okay, and uh, it might be an idea to perhaps center this. So uh, if I go to home here, and uh, I just click on the center button just there and that puts it to the center and then I just double click just below header okay and then I can type on here say for instance I don't know quiz round and uh, that gives us a little section where you can actually put the the round name and perhaps let's do an underline so if I click just uh, the, um, the U there and then I push the shift key and uh, the key um, which is next to the uh, plus key on the top row of keys on the keyboard and that gets us a nice little underline and then I press enter or return to go on to the next line okay and I'm just going to take the underline off by clicking there and uh, let's just say my like, team name Okay, and then I'm going to put an underline there. So I'm going to put the un click on underline just there, and then again hold down the shift key and uh, keep tapping the button on the top row of keys with the minus key on it, and that gives us a nice little line just there, like so. Now we need to create some boxes for uh, the question number and the answers. Now we do that by perhaps uh, insert in a table. So if you move your mouse up to insert just up here and left click once and then we click table. Okay and uh, we can either draw out the table that lets us have up to 10 what they call columns and eight rows um, but we might want more than that. So if I just move my mouse down to insert table and left click, okay. Now it's asking us how many columns we want. Now the columns are the uh, number of sections going down. So really for a quiz, probably want two columns, okay. And the number of rows, we perhaps want 10. To, for, for 10 questions or perhaps even 11 so that we've got enough room for a heading on there okay so I click on okay on there and as you can see there's two columns there um, now we perhaps want to, we what we want to do is we want to type the question number in this column here um, I just realized I've still got underline on so I'm just going to delete that out go back to home and take underline off okay so I'm going to type number in here and then I'm going to click into the next column and I'm going to type answer just noticed sorry the underlines come back on again so I left click U to turn that off answer answer there we go okay now obviously we don't want the two columns to be equal of equal width so if I move my mouse to the center and just wait until uh, the uh, mouse pointer becomes a double headed arrow, okay, like it is on the screen now, then I hold my finger down on the left mouse button and I just drag this to the left. And then when I'm happy with uh, how wide the number is, I can uh, let go. Okay, so there we go. We've got a column now for question number and we've got a column now for the answers. Now, obviously at the moment, the boxes aren't quite tall enough to uh, accommodate the answers. So what we need to do is we need to, uh, to uh, 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 open them out a little bit. So to do that, if I move my mouse over this four headed arrow just up here and then click the right mouse button, and then move my mouse down to table properties and click the left mouse button. 
okay and it asks we've got here the width of the table we've got a tab here that says row so specify the height and that's what we want to do is we want to specify the height of each row so I tick specify height okay and what I need to do is I just need to play about really with this here now that now the height at the moment I've set to two centimeters click on OK let's see how that looks yep that looks better and in actual fact that's allowed us uh, 10 um, 10 uh, answers in there so but perhaps what we need to do is the number and answer heading at the top here we don't need that quite so big so again move your mouse to this line just here the line going across ways okay wait until the mouse becomes a double headed arrow and then hold your finger down on the left mouse button and just drag it up there you go and then we're happy with it let go of the left mouse button and there we go so we've got a number column and an answer column here now i'm going to drag the number column out a little bit like I say we can play with this okay and then in the number box here we can type the question number okay so I'm just going to make sure my underlines off just going to turn that off by clicking underline okay and then oh no not gone off okay I type one in that column there the underline keeps coming on for some reason Let's just keep turning it off. So I'm clicking in the boxes and just typing the question numbers. So uh, don't know why my underline keeps uh, coming on, but uh, hopefully yours isn't. And there we go, so uh, I've numbered them 1 to 10 on here now. So, uh, okay, but obviously at the moment the, uh, the, the numbers look a bit odd where they are, so we could centralise those. So to, uh, to do this, to get the uh, text centred, we need to move our mouse up to the top of this column here. And just make sure the mouse has become a downward arrow, so keep moving the mouse around the top uh, line here and when it becomes downward arrow left click and that will highlight all of the numbers here okay then we move our mouse over layout just here and we need to select a line center which is this one just here click a line center and as you can see it's now aligned all the numbers in the uh, in the center and uh, there we go if I just go to uh, to print that now that will give us a, uh, a print preview and uh, very very simple like I say uh, a, a quiz sheet a quiz answer sheet for you there you can obviously play with it and, uh, and make it your own um, but that's sort of the basics on how to uh, how to do that thanks for watching hope this video helps